I don't understand anything about it. Ah, Jai! Hi, Jai! Why your face looks so sad? Oh, she don't understand. Don't understand. Please. Okay. Uh, basically, I have some uh, basic understanding on industrial waste. Uh, I can show you something in my phone. Is that okay? Yes. Yes. Yeah. According to the Environmental Protection Act 1990, industrial waste is defined as the waste from a factory, any premises used for or in connection with provision of public transport, public supply of gas, water, electricity or sewage service or provision to the public of postal or communication service. In simpler terms, it is residue or waste generated from a manufacturing process and no longer has a use. Industrial waste in Malaysia are categorized into two types of which is solid waste and toxic and hazardous waste. Solid waste which include waste generated by manufacturing process or activity or byproducts such as waste from administration, while Toxic and hazardous waste include any matters prescribed to be scheduled waste or any matters whether in a solid, semi-solid or liquid form or in the form of gas or vapor which is emitted in the environment and cause pollution. The industrial waste from various industries such as light and heavy manufacturing, fabrication, construction site, power and chemical plants this video will be focusing on the light and heavy manufacturing industry. Starting with light industry, we mostly are small scale producing small products mainly to be bought by individuals. For example, manufacturing closing for management, there are two method. Contractor are hired by the local authority to collect solid waste five times a week. The second, the council require all the solid waste contractor to send in monthly report. As for in the heavy industry, it involves one or more characteristic such as large and heavy product, large and heavy equipment and facilities, complex or numerous processes such as steel manufacturing industry. The minimum act that need to be complied for the industry area such as Environmental Quality Act 1974, Act 127, and Regulation EQA 1974, Environmental Quality Sewage Industrial Influence, Regulation 1979, Environmental Quality Prescribed Premises, Schedule Waste Treatment and Disposal Facilities, Order 1989, and Environmental Quality Schedule Waste, Regulation 1989. Rather than this, there are several incentive that implemented in Malaysia to encourage those industries to make some investment in cleaner and greener technologies instead of the end pipe pollution treatment where the concept of burn it, bury it and sink it which no longer suit current condition. The current statistic was shown where the manufacturing sector output had increased by 4.8% in September 2018. The major subsectors were Electrical and electronic equipment products 5.5%, petroleum chemical rubber and plastic products 3.8%, and food beverages and tobacco products 6.9%. Mm. So, do you understand about this? Uh, not really. Can you give more examples? Yeah. Jump! Let's go to the site! Let's go! Let's go! We bring a lot of problems in terms of us as human and also to the environment and also to the ecology.